right now in Sullivan County, New York, waiting for traffic in the middle of nowhere. It's unbelievable. Going somewhere very cool. Somewhere I haven't been in a long time. And it's time to revisit it. Going on down to Yazgur's farm. That's lyrics from Woodstock by Crosby, Stills, Nash, and I believe Young. Also covered by my girl, Joni Mitchell. Yazgur's farm is where Woodstock was held. Max Yazgur. At the last minute, he stepped in and said, Yeah, bring it on. But the town of Bethel was not too happy about it. That's right. I think the first time I ever came out here was when I was a teenager. And it's changed a bit. Obviously, they've built a lot up around here. Let's go take a look at the monument. I'm going to show you where the stage was. And a few other things that are around here. Woodstock was the biggest festival of its time. Pivotal moment in the 1960s. Oh boy. Some hippies. So the stage was down here. See, it forms like a natural bowl. This is where the whole audience was. And that's what's pretty cool about it. Jimi Hendrix went on at 8.30 a.m. on the Monday. It was held from a Friday to a Monday. And Creedence Clearwater Revival, a band I really like. Since they went on at 3.30 a.m., they actually went on around 12.30 a.m., played for an hour. A lot of jam bands. I don't know if I could sit through a lot of jam bands. But surprisingly, a lot of the sets were cut short. They're only an hour due to rain and I guess maybe fatigue. Here I am at Woodstock, walking the field. A few other people out here. And over there, you'll see they've built like a music uh, museum. And um, it's called the Bethel Center for Performing Arts. That's pretty cool. So they do, I do still have stuff going on out here. Yeah, I always want to roll down this hill. I wonder if I should. I wonder if I should. Well, I'm not gonna roll down the hill, but I'm actually lying on the grass at Woodstock, where the festival was held, where a lot of hippies were. Nothing wrong with hippies, I'm just saying. They're all covered in mud because it rained for days. And it was very chaotic. See, the concert promoters got turned down by so many different townships. The last minute, Max Yasger stepped in and said, yeah, I have it here at my farm. So they didn't really have time to build a fence. They had enough money left over to either make a really good stage and backstage area and the sound or build a fence and ticket booths. They were only selling tickets in uh, like New York City record stores. So, at the last minute, the uh, promoters, Michael Lang, I think his name was, and a few others, what they did was they decided to go with the better stage and the sound. That's how it ended up becoming a free concert. No fence. People came from all over to get in. And ah, something's crawling up my neck. And what uh, is really cool about it is there's so many different rumors about it. If they, they shut down the New York, New York State Thruway, blah, blah, blah. No, none of that happened. Still, all these roads around here were just clogged with people. And two people died, actually. Uh, heroin overdose. How was the other one? Oh, yeah, the other one was a tractor rolled over somebody that was sleeping in a cornfield. That's sad. It's crazy. A couple of uh, people were born here at Woodstock, too. I wonder where they are. Text me. If you got my number, text me. So peaceful and relaxing here. I remember that from when I came as a teenager. Still is. Oh. Those guys are down there where the stage is. Or was. Hmm. What if I should go into the museum? Well, you know what? I'm going to walk down to where the stage was because I'm here. Why not? So here's where the stage was. Right here. Look up. There's the crowd all watching you. 
Oh, look at that. Now that's cool. Does anybody see that? Is that noticeable? There's a peace sign in the grass. Come on. There's my buddy Charles up there. Right there. Love it. This is it. This is Woodstock. Bethel, New York. I like it. I like just walking the fields of Woodstock where the big festival was. It feels cool. This is the view from the stage. This is what? Imagine 400,000 people around here. By the time Jimi Hendrix took the stage though at 8.30 a.m. Monday, only 30,000 people were left and they stayed pretty much only for the first couple of songs and started to stream out more. So by the time he was the last performer on, I don't think there was many people left at all. But Hendrix did record that version of, uh, or played that version of the Star Spangled Banner here, the most famous, uh, well, one of the most famous versions of it, I guess the most famous rock version of the Star Spangled Banner, seeding into Purple Haze. Ow. And Creedence Clearwater Revival did not give their permission, I believe, to be in the movie. That's why you don't even know that Creedence was really, uh, that they played here, but they did. sha -na, na Sly and the Family Stone. Joni Mitchell did not make it because she was going to be on the Dick Cavett show. And her manager said, no, no, you better do that instead. Come on. Come on. Called the Peace Tree. Oh, there's people rolling down the hill. There you go. I guess I should leave something. Not my best handwriting. But it's hard to write on a picnic table. And right beside Carly. Charlie, this is Charlie, and he was actually at Woodstock. So tell me about it, Charlie. I used to have a big, long explanation. Mm -hmm. But it's very simple. We came for the music. We left as a community. And the community is still growing this to this day. It's amazing. As you can see from the field and talking to people. Yeah, I haven't been here in years, and it's changed a lot. Do a lot of people want to roll down that hill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. The only thing I haven't seen here is people sledding down the hill. <laughs> do people come out here in the winter? Oh, yeah. So who was the best performer you saw that? Did you get to see all of them? Uh, most of them. I didn't see Crosby, Still Snash, Paul Butterfield Blues, Sha Na Na, and uh, Jimi Hendrix. And you missed Hendrix? He was Monday morning, right? Yeah. What about uh, Credence? <clears throat> the best group was Janice, but the whole night, Credence, Clearwater, Grateful Dead, Sly and the Family Stone, Janice, The Who, Jefferson Airplane. That's all one run after the other. One after the other. Oh my God. What a lineup. <coughs> so that was definitely special. Wow. I still remember Grace Slick. Grace Slick? Yeah, Jeff is there. The heavy groups mm -hmm. now for a little morning maniac music. <laughs> yeah, she, they went on early, right? They were on it right after sunrise, right oh. after the Who. The Who finished Tommy at sunrise. And people are still here. Oh. People come back. People come here from all over the world. So were people, were all the concert goers just camped out everywhere around here? Yep. Oh. Yeah, there was stages down there. We were all up on the hill. But there was people parked in camp on that hill. And over here was the performer's pavilion. Oh, right over here? Medical uh, tent, and the rest was used as the helicopter landing zone. So is that road still, was that road here? Where this, this car's road, going? yes. It was here. But probably not paved. No. And what about the, uh, weren't they telling people not to take the acid, or certain acid? That's in the movie, right? I haven't seen the movie since I was little. 
Was it the brown acid? Yeah, there was one section where they mentioned the brown acid, <laughs> and then a little bit later, the next announcement was something about the blue acid. <laughs> this road, a half a mile on your right. The one from the movies down there. Yeah, it gets... They're both in the movies. Oh, they are? So that's where, where were the people skinny dipping? Oh, both. 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 But mainly over this one at Lake Hill County. That's the famous one. That's the famous one. All right. But the waterfall scenes were down. Is the waterfall still there? It's a spillway. Okay. It, with the rain that we had over the weekend, it may be flowing over the Straight spillway. down this road, right? Eh? Yep. I've heard people say, oh, the stage area was here. The stage area was across the street. The stage area was at the top of the hill. <laughs> oh. It was down at the bottom. Right there where those rocks are, right? Yes. Is that why they've left it kind of like that, to show where it is, or is that just not? I always thought that myself yeah. when I first came here. The land was flattened. Alan Geary, who bought up all the property around here to preserve the site. In 98, 99, he put on Back to the Garden concerts here, and he bulldozed that flat for his stage at the time, which was some uh, flatbed trailers. Right. And the rocks was to prevent erosion and having the, all the soil move. All right, Charles, thank you very much. No problem. That's gonna be Peace. Some, I love it. That was really cool. There you see Charles there in the background. What a nice guy. Now I'm going to go show you where they skinny dipped. Dirty, dirty. So here's the river where they skinny dipped. This is right behind the performers where they set up. This is all in the movie, we're stuck the movie. It all happened here. The waterfall somewhere else, I'm going to go try to find that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is where they bathe. So this dirty patch of water, this is where the uh, spillway is, where the waterfall is, those scenes in the movie. There's nowhere to stop and it's a winding road, but you can get a good uh, idea. It's down in there. I want to go on a waterfall. So I'm in the town of Bethel. Woodstock's right around there. I think this is the little variety store, convenience store I stopped at. Maybe it's not. It's closed. Kind of a busy little thoroughfare running through. Is it a thoroughfare? Is it the right word? Look, a silo. Where? Wait, where's the silo? There it is. Anyway, stock down there. I went to look for the little general store. Couldn't find it. That sucks. Um. It should be just right along that stretch of road. I keep looking back because I think I'm going to get smacked by a car. Actually, I wouldn't get smacked by a car. I'd get hit by a car. And if I got hit by a car, I'd end up in there. Like, literally. And then, well, that's probably where I'd be. Ah! <sighs> so I couldn't find the general store with all the pictures, but you can Google it and find pictures of Woodstock. It's pretty cool. Learn more about it. History. All right, now I got to go find some other stuff. Some other cool things to see. And I know exactly what that's going to be. Continue along, continue along. Bye bye.